Okay, now that we have all of our files um, on the server, we're going to want to create a cube file out of uh, all of our image files. So each of these files is basically just a strip of the picture. And what we're going to want to do is combine them into um, one cube file that we can work with. Now, I pretty much every single time I work on this server, I start by opening a new uh, screen. So you just type in screen, hit enter, and this will start up the screen program. So this just opens up a new screen that I can work on perfectly normal, whatever, but the most important thing is if I hold control A and then I hit the letter D. Well, maybe I didn't do it fast enough. Control hit. So control A D uh, disattaches the screen. But basically that screen is still running in the background on the server. So a lot of times my um, a lot of times my connection will run out or it'll cut out because of network problems or whatever. If that happens when I'm not working on a screen, my I'll lose everything that I'm working on. It'll just it'll just be a mess. So I basically open up a screen, I start my prop my whatever I'm working on in there, and then if I need to leave it for a while, I'll disattach the screen by hitting Control A D and then it'll just keep running on the server and I can come back to it later. So to reattach the screen, I just type screen dash R and now I'm back on my screen. So that is something you're definitely going to want to use because a lot of things on on this in this process take a really long time and you're going to be kicking yourself if you don't use the screen. Okay, so now I have my files on here. Oh, sorry, give me a second. Okay, so I got all my red files and what I want to do is I want to turn them into one cube file. Okay, so the first thing you have to do is you have to make sure you are working in an ISIS environment. Uh, you just type in a couple lines of code to do that, but if you don't want to have to type those lines of code every single time you log in to the server, there's a much easier way to do it. You just add it to your profile. So what you'll do is you'll go to the home folder, home, and then you'll find the folder with your username on it, I'm Meredith, and then you'll find this file called profile. So open that up. And this basically what happens is every time you log into the server, it opens this file first and runs through it to set up your working environment. So what I've done is I've actually added this line here so that every time I open up or every time I log in, um, I'm in the top directory. But then these are the lines that you need in order to use, uh, in order to create the DEM. So you have to export this path. Now this is a path to where the stereo pipeline is located on the server. Yes, it's underneath my name, but you're going to want to copy that exactly how it is. Data slash Mary slash stereo pipeline slash bin. Because um, unless you're going to reinstall stereo pipeline under your own username, that's uh, where it is currently uh, located. And then you're going to want to create this variable called isis root um, and then a variable called isis3 data and then you're going to run basically what this does is it runs this script on startup. So isis3 startup.sh. So if you add those four lines exactly how they're written to your profile um, document then you shouldn't have any issues. You should just open up log into the server and automatically be working in the ISIS environment. Okay. So now we're going to go back to the directory where our files are located. And the first thing we're going to do, uh, if you're an ISU student, you should have access to a file you should have access to my report for this project. Um, 
inside that report, it, I go through some pretty... I mean, I think it's decently detailed. Not as detailed as this is going to be. But it, go, it goes through all the steps that you're going to have to do. So uh, you can definitely refer to that. If you don't know where to find this, if you go to the school library website and you just search High Rise, uh, there should be two reports in there. One from Stan Kathler. He did he worked on this the year before me, and then my uh, individual report. So Meredith Campbell, just look that up. Okay, but this has this has a lot of the information, so I'm actually going to reference it myself. So we're gonna do first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna mosaic these images. Uh, we have to make sure we're we're working in the correct directory. So to get to the correct directory, I'm just going to type cd and then the directory I want to be in. So data Mary 15 oh yeah 1505 that's what I want. Yeah. Okay and then the command to mosaic is hider to mosaic.py and then you're just going to type in the name the file so ESP underscore o two four eight one eight underscore thirteen seventy underscore now you're gonna want to just do the red files um, so these ones I wouldn't worry about but we're going to do the red files so all of these files that have the word red in them have the same beginning and then just have a, a, a different ending so I'm just going to put a star img so that it will work with all of those files. Hit enter. If it found ISIS, that's a good, that's a good uh, sign that you did your profile file correctly. And I'll let you know when this is done.